you ever just write code and you have a module and it uses a ton of memory and you just want to free it all at once. Like you kind of wish that there was this pool or, the, or this arena you could put in all your pointers and just free them all at once. Well, if you couldn't tell by the way I was talking, we're going to be talking about arena allocators. And I'm really sorry if my voice sounds weird. I'm really tired, but I can't do anything about it. So yeah, anyways, let's get started. So we have our main.c function, which we're going to use to test the arena allocator. Let's create the arena.c file and the arena.h file. In the arena.h file, let's do pragma once. You can put include you can put include guards if you want to. Let's import standard def. This is for size underscore t, and let's create our data structure. We're gonna have a pointer to the start. This is so at the end, when we're done with our arena, we can free it. This is the pointer we're currently at. This is where we're gonna start allocating from. You can just as much choose a size underscore T to hold the size, but I like to use an end pointer because it makes bounds checking a little bit easier. Let's create some functions. This creates a new arena with a specific capacity. We can't really reallocate the arena because all the pointers that it's going to hold are going to be towards the uh, previous allocation. So they're all going to be invalidated. So we can't really resize it, which is one of the downsides to an arena, unless there's some like magic that you can do to resize them but for now we'll have a strict capacity for it here we allocate some memory from the arena Here we reset the arena. This means we actually just assign the the current variable to the sorry the start variable to the current variable. This is gonna cause any subsequent allocations to just override the previous data. This is good if we're gonna reuse the arena and we don't want to create a new arena or free it and stuff because that you know takes processing time. This frees the entire arena. This is what we're gonna do at the very, very end. So we're done with that. Let's go to our arena.c file. I don't know why it's doing that. Okay. Um, let's do include the arena.h. So include I don't think we need to include anything. What we're gonna write here is a alignment macro. And whenever we allocate some memory, actually, you know what? I'll go over that at the end because I feel like if I go over alignment right now, it might confuse some people. So let's create the arena function, the arena new function. create an initial like block of memory that we're going to use to hold the data for the arena. Let's create a new arena. Okay. 
Here we make the start pointer point to the actual data we've made. The current pointer is going to point to the start whenever it's initialized. And the end pointer just points to the, well, end. Let's return. And let's write the easier stuff first. So let's do void arena reset. And let's assign its current value to start. And finally, let's do arena free. This is why we keep a start one, even though we, I mean, it's obvious that we use it, but it's very helpful for freeing and resetting it. Actually, very helpful as an understatement. It's vital for it. And we can now just assign them to null. Don't know why I did that. the standard lib. As you can see, we have some code for our arena. Now to the main like portion of the arena where we allocate the memory. I think my LSP died, hold on. I mean, I could code with that if I don't want to. Well, I guess it died. Um, okay. First thing we're gonna do is if for some reason the guy calling this function's an idiot and decided to pass in zero, we just return null. Sure, we could set the error null or whatever, but I don't really care. This is like demonstration code. I don't know, for some reason, I think I got this one comment on one of my TikTok videos of this guy complaining that I didn't follow like every single protocol, which you probably should be doing, but I'm making demonstration code. I really don't care that much. So let's do a line size. The reason why we're gonna do this is because the allocation you make should be aligned no matter what it is. So for example, any memory, let's say for example, Sorry, I'm like repeating myself. I'm trying to think of a way I can explain this. If we want to access a byte, the address that we should be accessing from should be divisible by one. If we're accessing like a Q word or eight bytes, the address that we're accessing should be divisible by eight. Basically, whatever data we're accessing, we should have it divisible by eight. Now, I don't mean that like a struct, for example, is like, I don't know, 32 bytes long and you have to align it at 32 bytes. You don't. That's no need for that because the individual members you're going to be accessing are going to be either, they're going to be usually less than eight bytes. Now, the alignment depends on system to system. Some systems have SSC, AVX, AVX 512. So their alignment might be a little bit higher. Generally, I think from what I know, malloc uses this specific alignment so we do size t alignment equals align of and if you don't have a standard line it's just this macro so underscore align of you should probably have that and do max align underscore t so now we're going to write the alignment code and i'm actually going to open python on the side make things a little bit easier. I am sorry, I am still pretty sleepy, so I might make like a really dumb mistake. Anyways, if we, for example, take the value to a size of like one, one byte, and our alignment is eight, right? So if we do one plus eight, we get nine, but nine bytes is not how many we actually want, correct? Well, what if we, I don't know, divide it by 
by the alignment and then multiply it also. This will truncate it and in Python I have to do int. But this will do 16, which is not good because, well, I mean, we don't really, wait, hold on, no, the math is wrong. Sorry. Gotta put parentheses. It's gonna show it as eight, which is fine. Let's say if the size itself is eight, it's gonna show us 16. This isn't good because if it's eight bytes, we can just use the entire thing. And if we do 16, it's gonna waste eight bytes of memory. So what we can do is just subtract one. And oh, okay, what if, what if the size is zero? We already handled it, that's not a big deal. But let's say, for example, if the size is, I should probably use the size variable. Okay, there we go. So since size is one, it's gonna be eight. If size was like 15, it's gonna show us 16. So this is the code to basically align it. And since I'm too lazy to type it all, all out, I had it saved. I'm just gonna copy it here. Pretty sure this works, I've, I've used it before. Oh, it's just a thing doing it, okay. Let's align the size to the... Feel free to use that code like anywhere. Now let's make sure that whatever this align size is, it doesn't exceed the bounds of our arena. You could probably set the error no, then again, I don't really care that much. Let's do p self current. This is gonna get the current pointer we're at. Basically, this is what we're gonna return to the user and then we're gonna increment past it. So we've essentially allocated it. As you can see, that's about it. That's our arena. Now I wrote a little test case for it, which I'm not gonna rewrite again, but let me copy it. So here we create an arena with the size 1024. We allocate a char, a long, basically like a long array, so it has two elements and we allocate a long. And the reason why we do this is because I kind of want to show something. I also want to show something else. Oh, I typo. Oops. As you can see right here, we have our little addresses for our blocks of memory and the alignment of C zero alignment of L zero. This is because I'm dividing them. I'm checking the remainder and see if they're divisible by one and eight, which is exactly what should they should be doing. Um, they're all aligned at eight. So I don't know why I added this, but regardless, our data is properly aligned. Now, the reason why I'm doing this is basically showing that this right here, L, is 16 bytes. So when we allocate it, we will put the pointer at the start of these 16 bytes and increment it after. So the next allocation would be 16 away from this one. And as you can see, if we subtract them, they are 16 in distance. And here we just free it. So, yeah. That's about it. That's how you write an arena allocator. Let me know what you guys think. Um, leave a comment, um, video suggestions, and maybe even a mistake I made in this video, I probably did. But yeah, thank you guys for watching.